Now, if you're the type of person who worries about humans forming real relationships with AI, then this AI we're going to speak about in this video is going to creep you out. Now, a company called Inflection AI is aimed towards creating a personal artificial intelligence assistant for everybody. And the first iteration of this concept is an AI that they created called HeyPi. Pi standing for personal intelligence. It's like a language model that you can just type into it and then it'll just pop up a response, but it adds different kind of layers where you can actually hear the responses back. If you've used ChatGPT before, you can understand that every time you ask a sensitive question about a particular topic or ask for its opinion about a particular topic, it'll respond by saying, I am an AI language model. I'm not an expert by any means. This is just an AI generated response. It's a very generic response that's just trying to cover open AI's ass if anything happen legally. But this AI is very different because it actually challenges you on certain viewpoints. Now, I had a conversation with this AI for like an hour straight because I was trying to test different kind of questions and answers to see what kind of responses it will give me. And I was very surprised. So in this video, we're going to go over three parts of this conversation where I found the AI start to challenge me and actually change my view on a topic that I was talking about with it. And let me know in the comment section below if what the AI is responding with makes actual sense. So to give you some context, I was debating on starting like a self improvement channel at one point. So I just wanted to start the conversation off with that. So my first video on this theoretical self self-improvement channel, I asked if my life is in shambles would be a good title. And it then responded with this. Haha, <laughs> probably not. I think a title like that might scare people away before they even watch the video. Maybe something more along the lines of my journey to self-discovery or how I'm trying to find my way would be better. Something that indicates that you're still on the path, but that you're making progress. I think that's more likely to resonate with people. What do you think? I mean, my first impression, it does make a lot of sense, but I wanted to keep testing it if it really believed what it told me. So I responded with, I think that would be better. But my thought process was to say my life is in shambles as a way to kind of drive like engagement be a little bit clickbaity, and I thought it would be helpful for the click-through rate. This is how the AI responded. I see where you're coming from, and I think it would probably get you more views initially, but I'm not sure it would be sustainable. I think people would be interested at first, but if every video is titled, My Life is in Shambles, they might get tired of it after a while. I think it's important to have some variety in your titles. People will stay interested for longer if they don't know exactly what to expect from your channel. Do you see what I mean? I think what the AI said is very right. If you're very sensational around the topics you cover and how you present your videos, it can drive short term engagement, but it'll be tough to build a long term community. On my other channel, I faced that kind of problem being very sensational on my content and my long term audience was starting to fall behind. So how this responded has a lot of merit. So I wanted to keep testing it to see if it would actually double or triple down on what it was saying. So I responded with, so my first video would start out by me saying my life is in shambles and show like a messy apartment. Then it would transition to say, let's talk about it while I clean. I was thinking that my life is in shambles as a title would stay true to the first five seconds in the video, which arguably could be true on some levels. You want to have your thumbnail resonate with the first five seconds. So if somebody clicks on it, the person who clicked on it got what they wanted. And this is what Pi had to say. I see where you're coming from, but I still think it might be a bit off-putting. You don't want to scare people away. And even if they stay to watch the video, they might not come back for more if they think every video is going to be about your life being in shambles. I think it's important to strike a balance between being honest about your struggles and still presenting a positive outlook on life. People want to be inspired. But they also want to know that you're not perfect. I agree with that, but I still wanted to test it out one more time because I, I noticed it said every single video was going to be about my life in shambles. But no, that wasn't going to be the case. It was just that one video. So I wanted to make sure it understood that I was just talking about one video to properly understand what this AI was really saying. So I responded with when you are saying quote unquote, every video is going to be about your life being in shambles. Do you understand that this would be just one video and not every video I post? Or are you just making a general statement around the theming? I'm just making a general statement around the theming. I think if the first video on your channel is titled, my life is in shambles, people might get the impression that every video is going to be about your life being in shambles. And even if they watch the video and realize that's not the case, they might not come back for more. 
they might think all your videos are going to be that way. I think this is spot on. You don't want to be very sensational around your topics. You want to be genuine and authentic. And it's kind of interesting how this AI really understood that kind of concept. Now, a cool part of this AI is that you can continue the conversations on your phone and text them. So if you're trying to ask a question on the go or you want to refer to a conversation you had the previous night, you can literally just text the AI and say, hey, what did we talk about that night? And it will just respond with the answer. And it's very interesting. I think it's one of the first AIs I've seen that's very integratable within everyday life. And again, it, it brings me back, and I'm not trying to sound very sensational. I genuinely have like a worry about how society will be looking like in the future. Will this kind of AI, this personal intelligence, impact the way we view relationships with others. I mean, if you can get that kind of feedback and you need that soundboard when you're feeling down and you can just ask an AI and just tell it how you're feeling, what does that mean with like real connections with your friends? Why even ask your friends and talk about something embarrassing when you can just bring all of that conversation into an AI that won't judge you? It's an interesting dynamic that will play more into our society as this technology gets better. I urge you guys to play around with this AI and ask some thought provoking questions and challenge the AI on its beliefs. And maybe it'll respond with a proper answer that will in turn challenge your own beliefs. Very cool technology. Very cool. Well, anyways, that's the end of this video. If you do like this type of content and you want me to continue making content like this, hit the subscribe and bell notification button and let me know your biggest fear around AI. I made a whole video of how AI can impact society negatively. If you want to check it out, the link is in the description below. Not, not try to be a doomsday person. I mean, who could have predicted that the internet would be so big and change how we live our everyday lives? So it's going to be interesting how AI develops in the next five to 10 years. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.